today i will discuss the second part of product and brand management i am probal chakraborty i had a 17 years of experience in industry as well as 5 years of experience in academics i am regularly uploading lot of videos for the students because during lockdown it is not possible for you guys to you know interact face to face so this is a small endeavor from my side now important thing is that uh, when we are talking when we are citing something uh, we must say the the original person who had done this this is basically based on philip kotler's book marketing management 15th edition uh, so uh, based on that i have developed certain kind of things i uh, hope uh, you, 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 you will listen now important thing is that uh, the types of products are basically either consumer goods or industrial goods you can divide it into these two uh, parts now in consumer goods you have convenience goods shopping goods specialty goods as well as unsought goods similarly industrial goods is also again divided into raw materials fabricating parts and materials installation accessory equipment and operating stuff now consumer goods when we talk about we talk b to c that means business to customer and when we are talking about industrial goods we generally refer to b to b that means business to business now i come to convenience goods basically this convenience goods we do not you know we do not think lot many things while purchasing this kind of things is we are basically more frequently purchase it without much attention or planning and these are basically soaps toothpaste like this kind of things you can say and again convenience goods are divided into three part one is three parts that is staple goods impulse goods as well as emergency goods so when you purchase milk and bread it comes under staple goods when you think of chocolate as well as candy it comes under impulse as well as umbrella is under emergency goods so what is important when if uh, you know these products are placed in such a manner the moment you think of umbrella if it is raining outside now beside the cash counter i would say chocolate as well as candy is there so the products are basically kept in such a manner that it will definitely creates lot of you know interest now comes to uh, shopping goods that is basically buying decisions depend on price quality and value for products these are known as shopping goods when you uh, go for a true value of suzuki that means earlier it was maruti suzuki right now it is suzuki now what we are looking for basically this is a second hand car they are providing but important thing is that while purchasing the second hand car you have to think about its price quality and value why price quality and value is important it may happen that the it may happen that the person who is dealing with this kind of things maybe uh, is, is having not a good track record you cannot understand what is the past history of the person how can you rely upon that if the person is charging higher price as well as the quality is substandard how can you come to know now if you buy from maruti suzuki you will from true value you will get a good price quality is ensured as well as value for products so this is shopping goods now when i come to specialty products that means goods in this category has very strong brand identities as well as strong brand loyalty among consumers say for an example cameras premium brands of cars and clothing new mercedes is an example of specialty goods that means we purchase it if it has a strong brand identity as well as strong brand loyalty when you think of new mercedes benz it is totally different than its competitors 
when you are talking about unsaid goods that means consumers do not put much attention into and generally do not have tendency to buy examples are batteries or life insurances now lot of advertising as well as sales people involvement is required to sell this type of products because generally we do not buy try to buy this kind of this unless and really we it, it, it is not really if it is required so this is important now you may ask me a question say what is a product again i would talk i would rather i would i would quote philip kotler from the philip kotler books that products is a nothing but need satisfying entity product is basically a need satisfying entity it may be it may be switzerland it may be i would say uh nadal it may be uh, jokovic it may be virat kohli it may be switzerland it may be uh, it, it it may be i would say uh, red cross it may be a different uh, you know uh, uh, i mean to say hair cuts also so lot of things are the it may be coca cola obviously as well as as well as i would say amul so these are basically products now uh, important thing is that we have to think about other part also that is uh, industrial goods as well as products that is basically divided into raw materials fabricating parts and materials installation accessory equipment operating supplies now i come to raw materials what is raw materials raw materials is basically used in production basically when we are basically manufacturing any kind of product we have to search for the raw materials and it is again divided into natural products as well as farm products that means natural products are basically iron ore crude petroleum lumber and uh, farm products such as fruits cotton vegetables etc so raw materials is basically an ingredients of the final products we can say now coming to fabricating parts and materials when we are coming to fab fabricating parts and materials many manufacturers buy instead of producing some of the parts of the product these parts become part of the product we can say automobile industry as an example why because they buy tires batteries etc from affiliated companies or the vendors you can say so this is important part of this entire process a car manufacturing company is interested to produce cars only they do not generally do not produce tires and batteries so you have to depend upon other companies also ancillary parts they are basically taking from different com companies i would say say for an example a tie up may be uh, with uh, say uh, apollo as well as suzuki uh, then uh, hyundai with other companies it like like that now we come to installation due to depreciation machinery and equipment of an industrial producer need to be installed yes this is true because uh, you know with uh, as the time goes uh, the, the depreciation is important here at this moment of time because that is the basically a job of a finance guy who they are basically doing this kind of things calculations that uh, everything have a life so based on that they do this kind of thing so installation part is very important and because of that thing it, uh, the old uh, machineries and equipments is basically replaced by newer one and because of that thing installation is highly required we can say uh, blast furnaces locomotives etc where installation is appropriate or highly required now come to accessory equipment this actually facilitates rather than perform the basic operations of a manufacturing plant basically this is basically an accessory equipment you can definitely uh, understand that that is small motors office furniture are basically the example of this accessory equipments now come to supplies these are materials used in business operation but do not become a part of the finished product say for an example lubricating oil is highly required daily is required you know for 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 fine tuning of the machine uh, so this is important because the, this is uh, very important because friction is reduced and everything is absolutely in good shape and as well as condition 
Now coal is basically uh, required particularly in, in I would say steel manufacturing industries or, uh, or say different industries also and stationaries are examples of this kind of supplies. So today we are discussing uh, this particular thing that types of products again I am just highlighting this basics that is consumer goods and industrial goods this is the two pairs and again consumer goods is basically defined in, 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 into different parts like convenient goods, shopping goods, specialty goods, answer goods and raw materials, fabricating parts, materials, installation, accessory equipment, operating supplies. So what is important? You should understand what is product. Then product is classified in maybe in different way. But here we are picking just consumer goods as well as industrial goods. So this is the important aspects. And this is basically part two of product and man management. I am Professor Prabhu Chakravarti. Hope you will uh, enjoy this particular session. Please subscribe my channel. Thanks a lot. Bye.